i35equipment.com. Today we're gonna to be showing you how to utilize the hydraulic quick attach system on this Hitachi 210 LC Zaxxas hydraulic track excavator. Now this is the same as a John Deere 210 excavator. Where we got our battery switch on. I mean to say on. We're gonna hop up here, turn the key to the ignition, shut our door. This machine has a passcode, so we're gonna turn the camera while we enter that. And now we're ready to fire it up. We're gonna let the user interface boot up and all the lights go off. Now that that's done, what we're gonna be utilizing is this rocker switch here. And this is your coupler release switch. Before we do that, we're gonna go ahead and release our safety, bring the bucket up. I like to make sure no one's around us for safety. I recommend doing this out and away from anyone so you don't have to worry about anything. Just work slow. Bring the bucket up. All right, this is the position you wanna have it in for releasing as well as latching back on. So what we're gonna do first, now that we have that, is we're gonna release the coupler by pushing this red switch down and then flipping the rocker switch. Got your alarm, which means that it is loose. And then you see we're just pulling the handle to the left here. That's actually going to be releasing the hydraulic cylinder. That hydraulic cylinder is gonna retract to loosen its grip on the bottom pin. Once we've done that, we're gonna go ahead and Bring your stick out. It'd be a little smoother if I wasn't holding the camera, so just bear with me here. We're just gonna set the bucket out here. You can see the top pin has now also been released with the uh, wedge. It's just barely hanging there. So we're just gonna bring it to where it's a soft landing and unscoop from it. We're gonna drop it. Bring it down so we don't drop it too hard, too far. Like I said, you wanna do this when no one's around, so there's not a chance of getting anybody hurt. We are completely free. Now, I wanna go ahead and bring it up here and show you what's happening when we're locking and unlocking that hydraulic quick attach. Give you a good view of it. Got a good view of it here. Go zoom in a little bit. So when we actually go to uh, lock it back, we're just gonna be flipping this rocker switch down. And right now, I'm about to do that, but I wanna keep the camera on the quick attach so you can see the hydraulic cylinder latching back. See, and that's where that hydraulic cylinder is gonna push out as far as it can until it comes to rest on your bottom pin of your bucket for a tight fit. And that's how that works. All right, now let's go ahead and grab that bucket again. We're gonna have the bucket in, or the quick attach in this position. And we're gonna hit the rocker switch to release or unlock quick attach. We're curling the bucket curl handle, the right handle over so that that hydraulic cylinder retracts. We're gonna move the stick and the attach back out and we're going to scoop that front pin first this just takes a little time and finesse to get used to doing great and then we're going to pick it up curl it all the way to that safety position of being tucked up against under the arm. With this bucket, it's a little taller, so we're just 
gonna watch it so we don't curl the teeth up into the stick. Okay, and then we're just gonna flip the rocker switch. And to help that latch on up a little quicker, we're just gonna go ahead and what well, would be the curl for the bucket. Pull that over, do that for a few seconds. Make sure you got a good latch. And then before you go to work, you just wanna test it out. Make sure it feels nice and tight. Don't wanna risk it falling off. You can see the top wedge has come down and locked the top pin in. And you can see on the back there, it is not giving, at all, giving any space at all. That means it's latched up nice and tight. Do you hope that video is beneficial to you? If you're in the market for used heavy equipment and checking out this video, please check out our website at i35equipment.com. Appreciate you taking time to watch and hope you have a wonderful day.